Well, another birthday, alone. Detective Vega, Mr. Cooper sent this over. This is a surprise. Happy birthday, Derek. Sorry I couldn't deliver it personally, but I have to prepare my show for tonight. Oh. Vega, what's going on? Hey! Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce you to the police officer of the future, our newest recruit, Cyber. Hello, I am prototype Cyber. I am Eldin Terol, vice president of Cyber Corporation. We make robots, and this big boy here is our latest creation, police officer Cyber. You gotta be joking. Cyber, demonstration, please. Today's criminals are equipped with the latest in technology. In order to combat them, we need to stay on the cutting edge of technology. For now, we are going to put Cyber under your command, Inspector Vega. You're the most experienced officer we have. I'm counting on you, Vega. And if everything goes well, we'll order a dozen of these Cyber Cops and bring back some pride and respect to this police department. We can create these walking piles of scrap metal and steal our jobs. What? I didn't hear what you just said. Dispatch. Hmm? Several suspicious figures seen at the Croesus Palace. Vega, Cyber, that's your cue. <gasps> oh, did everything go according to plan, my dear niece? Smooth as a baby's bottom. Operation Trojan Horse has begun. We've got our horse into enemy territory. Operation Trojan Horse! <laughs> Boy, are they going to be surprised. <laughs> Detective, you shouldn't be driving so fast. Hands up, everyone. Freeze! This is a robbery! Oh, excuse me, miss. Uh, you don't really want to burden yourself down with all that money, do you? In magic, there's always a trick. Can you find it? My money! Ah! All right, drop the weapons. Put your hands on your head. Stay here, Inspector. I'll take care of this. This is Electro City Police. Surrender your weapons. Criminals always underestimate the magician. Thank you for your cooperation, Mr. Cooper. I will keep these as evidence. I get the feeling that this incident was a little too convenient. And if by chance, the media happens to be here at the right time. Hmm. Okay, now rewind to the point just before we came in. Stop! Look! Magnifying image. Huh? Is this police property department secure enough to hold this evidence? Yeah, of course. And besides, it would be crazy enough to break into Electro City Police headquarters. Vega, meet us at the Express. You've got to blow out your birthday candles. Don't light the candles until I get there. Oh, I forgot I left my present at the office. Hey, don't worry. 
we've got something else for you. Take a deep breath. Remember, you've only got one shot at it. Rest assured, the fire is now extinguished. I'm going to dismantle this room. Ace, Vega, check this out, dudes. Hmm. So the failed robbery was a big setup. I'm going to grill these guys until I get some answers. So I detected we just released them. Their bail was paid. What? Who put up the bail? Someone by the name of uh, Eldon Tyrone. Captain Friedrichs is illegally parked. That's a pretty nice car for a lieutenant's salary. Thank you, Miss Tyrol. That's the most beautiful car I've ever owned. Ah, no, no. Don't thank me. Thanks to the city council who voted to order our cyber units. Here's to our success. What the heck's going on here? Who told you to clean my office? A disorganized workspace diminishes one's level of productivity by 13.7%. Uh, shut up, you bucket of bolts. Ace, everything's upside down here. Police headquarters is being overrun by these soup cans. Hold on, I'm coming down there, Vega. Oh, I need a good cup of coffee. Lieutenant, you should refrain from drinking coffee. Caffeine is a stimulant proven to add stress to 37.3% of all cardiovascular conditions. Derek, where are you going? Ask Eldon Tyrol. She controls everything here now. I can't take it anymore. So what did the two prisoners have to say? There are no prisoners. That is illogical. We just arrested them yesterday. It's all very logical, Cyber. And you are an accomplice to this criminal conspiracy masterminded by Eldon Tyro, your own creator. Vega, Lieutenant Vega, you are not being logical. You must be logical. Logical one must be. Inspector Cyber, are you okay? Logically, I am programmed to fight crime and cannot be a criminal. The arrival of cyber cops in the Electro City Police Force marks a beginning of a new era of law and order. My car! Your robot's gone haywire! Don't panic. We are prepared for this type of situation. Calling all cyber units to the front of headquarters. I want Cyber Zero neutralized immediately. Careful, Vega. He's short-circuiting. No! Don't hurt him! It is against the law to walk on the ground. Ah! Cyber, drop Cosmo immediately. Prototype Cyber, let go of the human. Put your gun down and give yourself up. You, you are all under arrest for trust, trust passing on my lawn. Sorry. 
Survivor! The problem we had with the prototype has been isolated and taken care of. There is no longer anything to worry about. Cybers are perfectly reliable. What sort of guarantee do we have that the rest of the robots aren't unstable? You have my word, Mr. Cooper. Isn't that enough? Well, frankly, no. We just can't let these cybers invade the city. It almost killed you. Hey, what's gonna happen to Cyber now? Well, they're not taking him to the junkyard, are they? Malfunctioning scrap metal. You really picked the wrong moment. What is this, Tyro? A circus? I thought your robots were advanced technology. Don't worry. Operation Trojan Horse continues as planned. And remember, I still have the remote control. I want to see you in my office immediately. Well, I think we should show these guys a few tricks. You got it, Cosmo. Magic, Magic Force, Force reveal, reveal the, the power, power within! within. from the casino. Of course, and they work for Eldon Tyrol. That's why she put up their bail. Where is Tyrol? She had a meeting with the boss. Why do we have to speed up the operation? Because of your incompetence, that's why! After today's scandal, the city authorities are likely to think twice about keeping these cybers on the force. Are you with us or against us? All right. Operation Trojan Horse moves into phase three. Operation Trojan Horse? What the heck's that mean? Angel? During the Trojan War, the Greeks offered their enemies, the Trojans, a present of a huge wooden horse. But inside it, they had hidden their best warriors. Once it was inside the fortress, they jumped out and attacked their enemies from inside. The Cybers? Well, they must be the warriors! And they're controlled by Blackjack. This is a holdup. Everyone hands up and there won't be any problems. <laughs> Cyber units engage Operation Trojan Horse. <laughs> Whoa! Hey, why don't you catch real criminals, man? Instead of harassing and giving tickets to honest citizens like me! Get in. There's some crazy stuff going down. Here, you finish writing the ticket. Hey, where's Cosmo? He's trying to get Cyber back on his feet. I know a service entrance.
got to get that remote control from her. This stuff really is bad for your heart. I should win an award for this coverage. My, my camera! started without us. Happy birthday, Vega. Stop them! Cyber units, attack the prototype! Cyber! Uh -oh. Mr. Cosmo, they outnumber us ten to one. Ace, you'd better hurry up! The only person who can rob a thief is a magician, of course. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be provided for you by the court. Hmm. In all, Operation Trojan Horse will have cost us about 900 million, with a profit of zero. Ah! And all because of Ace and his cop friend, Derek Vega! What will become of the Cyber Force? The Cyber Units will be dismantled and their parts will be used to make coffee machines. And what about the prototype Cyber who helped save our city? Hmm? Uh, well, uh, we have other plans for him. So, Cyber, like your new job? It's wonderful, Mr. Cooper. You know, deep down, I think I always dreamed of looking after a little garden. I'm going back to nature. Well, so long, Cyber. Hey, come back and visit us sometime. It is against the law to walk on the grass. Finally, I'm going to be able to sit back and enjoy a cup of coffee without being interrupted. Hmm. Hey. So... You think you might open your present someday? With all the excitement around here, I completely forgot. Happy birthday, Derek. Happy birthday.